Good morning, welcome to another pop-up shop vlog. We are doing another Walkway Pops pop-up here in Hoboken at the Hoboken Museum. I just posted a vlog about this. I did one two weeks ago and it was really fun. I've done a bunch of these last year and it's just like a very chill, like smaller pop-up. And I like doing these because I get to interact with like my local community and also because I get to meet all the vendors since it is a smaller pop-up and it's just like good vibes all around. I did not do a pop-up shop prep video for this pop-up because I actually didn't really prepare for this pop-up at all. I've been getting into the habit of bulk preparing for pop-ups instead of just preparing for each individual pop-up the week before. So two or three weeks ago, I started prepping for any upcoming pop-ups. I made a ton of candles, made a ton of scrunchies, um, and I just like made sure I had enough for the upcoming few pop-ups. And that's because I know that some of my weeks get kind of crazy now and I have to go into the office. I have to prepare for my sister's wedding. I have to prepare for my own wedding. There's like a whole lot to do. And just being overly prepared in anticipation of me not having time later on um, is what I've been doing and it's been working out. Is it drizzling right now? Do you guys hear that? Okay, well, I hope that stops. However, I still need to pack up because from my last market, everything's a mess. There's like kind of a pile of stuff over there that needs to be packed up or just sorted through. I know I have enough inventory because I've been tracking how much I have. However, it's all kind of scattered around my room, around those bins back there. And I just want to pack it all up in an efficient way. So that's what we're gonna do this morning. Last night, I also had some people DM me asking if I could bring some pouches that I have pre-made. Um, even though I didn't really plan on bringing pouches to pop-ups until next month when I had more time to bulk make them. Uh, but I do have a few pre-made and um, they're in the style that a customer wants. So I need to finish that up with tagging it. And also there's like one more seam that I have to close. It's the part where I turn the pouches inside out. So I need to close that um, and figure out a way to package it up if I want to use any packaging. This is the market where I Uber there, um, so I'm going to try to condense everything up into just one wagon full of things. And I'm bringing some new displays, which is so fun. Um, Vertical Ledge sent me a few items and I'm trying them out at these smaller pop-ups before I like fully commit to using them at my bigger pop-ups. I know I'm gonna love them because I've tried them out in my crafting room a few times. You can check out like my previous vlogs for that. But I do have, where is it? This pile of stuff. This pile of stuff is a garment rack. And I can't believe how like few pieces it like looks like. Um, and it ends up being like a full size garment rack that's much taller than me. So that's like really fun. And then I also have this like standing pegboard looking thing with shelves. Um, I forgot the actual names to all these, but I'll put them below if you want to check them out online. Uh, so I'm using that for the first time as well to just like see what it looks like on a table. I think it'll be cute. I'm excited. Also, if you don't know me, my name is Monica and I make content about owning a small business, working nine to five, lifestyle productivity and all these fun things. And I'm happy you were here. Yesterday I did watch Oppenheimer. Um, so I'm in kind of like a weird mood because that movie kind of just gets you thinking. It's 9.20 in the morning and setup is at 12. I think I'm going to get there a little after 12 um, because I don't really need the whole hour to set up, especially since it's just one table. Um, and I've put together these displays like a bunch of times, um, so I don't think I need too much time. But um, yeah, we have some time to chill. Got my green tea. It's going to be a fun day. Okay, I packed up most of my stuff. A lot of it fit into this one bin, which is great. The only vertical edge stuff that didn't fit are these wooden planks right here. Some of them, like size-wise, could have fit, but this is getting pretty heavy and I don't like to make 
pins too heavy otherwise I hurt myself <laughs> picking it up. Also this one pegboard looking thing I think I'm just gonna carry normally like my scrunchie pegboard that I have. Um, I'll just like slide it into my wagon. Things that I'm not bringing that I normally bring. Um, I'm cutting down on one little crate because those are more just decorative and I don't have the space. In fact, on my table, I feel like I won't have space. You'll see. I, I have like three really big displays this time. And so I don't think there'll be too much like filler space that I'll need to like fill with. Um, and then also, I don't think I'll have space for this Lazy Susan earring rack. I'm not sure though. I want to like try out this new situation with the three big displays and see if like I can have this. But also, as you all know, I'm phasing out earrings, so I don't even fill this rack. Um, I kind of just have like two or three on each of these sides. Um, and I like have a feeling that it'll look good to hang them up on this guy. Um, and yeah, I think that'll be good enough. So I'm leaving this behind. Otherwise, all the normal stuff's in here. I also took out all of the candles that I want to bring. Well, those are the two pouches that someone... Um, wanted to reserve so i'm bringing that for that customer and then i have these candles i'm only bringing eight ounce candles just to i don't know experiment with that i normally bring different size candles but i think i'll stick with the eight ounce for today i'm bringing most of the different scents um, that i have on my website right now i really need to do product photography for these because i changed up the way a lot of these look i have new labels for them like this one isn't even on my website same with the lime sangria one that i have um so sorry if you don't see this on my online site i need to update it desperately and then these are the candle gift boxes these are the minis you guys have been saying that i should sell the individual mini candles individually <laughs> instead of in the gift set i'm still thinking about it i'll probably end up doing it but for now they're in the gift set these are the best sellers these are the like clean home scents these are bubble candles i only have three left so i should probably make more um for upcoming pop-ups and yeah that's that's basically all i need to bring i need to get a box for these though I did just make myself some oats um, as a little brunch situation. It's 10.54, so I'm actually going to leave here maybe in an hour. I'm going to eat this. I normally get lunch there at this pop-up because they almost always have some sort of food vendor, usually empanadas, which are really yummy. Um, and it's like easy to eat and I can eat it pretty quick, put it down and pick it up if like customers come by. Um, and it's a six hour pop-up, so I almost always eat something during it. So while I eat this, I'm just going to watch some YouTube, chill out a little bit. I'm fairly prepared, um, but I always get nervous when I say that because usually when I think I'm really prepared, something happens at the pop-up where I realize how unprepared I actually was. So I'm not going to actually say I'm prepared, but low-key, I feel like I am. <laughs> gonna bring all that stuff downstairs which is always the worst part of this whole process because i have two flights of stairs that i have to go up and down <sighs>
Before the music starts getting much louder, um, let me give you a booth tour. I'm very, very, very excited about all my new display pieces and I think it'll look really good. Starting over here. Guys, look at how good this looks and it blends so well with the rest of my booth. Um, it took me maybe like 10 minutes to put together, if not less, probably like seven minutes. And it looks great. It looks very natural and it fits on my tote bags. I can definitely fit a lot more, but this is all I have. Um, and I think it's just more cohesive than my old metal one. Um, and it's pretty windy here and it's like holding up pretty well. I'm like shaking out a little bit and it doesn't seem like it'll fall, but I'll keep you updated. And then the usual stuff. So scrunchies, gotta figure out a better way to keep these up because the tags always make them fall to the side. I gotta figure that out. Um, but it's looking really cute. It matches the tote bag so well. Like I think all the colors just like match really well. <laughs> Again, the last few coasters for my sister. Um, and then I have a lot of my candles, like the different scents. Um, not all of them, but a good amount. And these are all eight ounce ones. Again, this is the vertical edge display that I used um, last two weeks ago. And um, I had some trouble putting it together last time, but this time it was really easy because I knew how to do it. I knew that the longest shelf was on top, smallest shelf was on the bottom, and it's holding up really well. Um, no assembly. This other one needed like screws, but these are like, you twist them with your hands, like with your fingers. Uh, so still you don't need like power tools or anything. And this one, you don't even need those screws. You just like slide everything into these slots. Um, and then I have some like spare candles here. Again, these are the ones I'm trying to just like sell <laughs> because this is kind of the look I want to go for. And then a little change. Normally I would have my earring rack here, but I have my sticker rack um, with my decals and stickers. And then on top, I just put the, well, this is actually stored on top of a couple crates, but it's behind the stickers. This will show you what a decal will look like. Um, so I thought that was a good place to put it. And again, colorful, so not just the vibe. Business cards here because I wanted something to kind of block it from the wind because the wind's coming in from there and my business cards go everywhere. So I, these are the same. They're just like flipped over to see the pink side. And then another new one. Um, this looks really good. I still need to figure out how to best decorate this, um, but this is like the first thing that came to mind. I don't actually have anything on this shelf. I should probably put something here. Maybe I'll put these candles, but there's a shelf up here and I put these hooks that came with the pegboard um, and it's hanging some of my earrings. These are like the last few I have left, so that feels pretty good. The last three bubble candles that I have and the best sellers mini candles. Um, and then I just show off the gift box over here. So if people ask like how the like mini candles are packaged, they can see the box here. Um, and then I have my thank you cards here. This is also standing up really well. Um, again, no assembly need, it just has like the, this base that you slide this big thing into and it's not heavy at all. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I literally just ran into someone, it's embarrassing. Oh yeah, and also for my table, regular tablecloth, it's so wrinkly, that's actually pretty embarrassing, but I just, I, I haven't seen it in a while. And I kind of just stuff it into my bins, so that's why it looks like that. And 
my pretty table runner. Um, I do have safety pins to keep this like safety pin to the table so it doesn't fly away because last time it was kind of like going like that. Um, I gotta put that on still. But I think overall this looks beautiful, guys. I love my setup more and more every time I do it, honestly. Some people hate that, some people love it. Depends on how you like it. This one's 22. No, that one is 20. smell like anything. They're kind of decorative. You can burn them, but most people don't because they just like the way they look. <laughs> Hello. Good, how are you? Everything here is handmade using sustainable materials. If you have questions about how I source anything, how I made anything, let me know. Yeah. Those are, that's funny, that's like literally the only thing here that I didn't make. My sister made those. I'm just trial running them to see if I Yep. <laughs> so cute.
it's the next day and I need to do a recap of the pop-up. It was quite a hot day um, and there was a little bit of a breeze but not so much so that was kind of rough. People definitely didn't show up as much as they normally would um, because of the heat I'm thinking. Maybe a lot of people went down to the shore. That's something that people do around here. There was like some foot traffic. I would say it was a very average walkway pops market in total. I made 15 sales, which is average for this type of market. I had some really nice people show up. Um, I had one person who actually ordered pouches from me the night before and just asked me to hold them for her so she could pick it up since she's local in Hoboken. So I love doing that. That saves both of us the issue of shipping. I also met a bunch of new people. Candles were a hit. As always, I sold um, most of my orders, like were candle orders, and then I also had some people pick up scrunchies. I do need to restock on scrunchies now because of yesterday. And also the coasters that my sister crocheted, I have one left, quite literally just one left. 
which is so exciting that people like them and I think she made me 20 or 24 and the fact that everyone has bought all of them is really cool. Oh and going back to candles, I did have one person purchase a gift set of the mini candles which is really great but then I also took all of your advice and I decided to sell the minis individually because a lot of people were interested in that um, and I did charge $10 for each little candle which I thought was like a little bit too much for such a small candle but I did have three different people buy the little individual minis so I think I'll do that. I met some really great vendors who were seated next to me and everyone's just so cool at these markets. That's one of my favorite things about doing these markets, just meeting new vendors. The one vendor who was right next to me, um, she brought her daughter which was so cute. She makes um, glass mugs and other sorts of drinkware uh, with vinyl in it and sublimation I believe and everything looks really great. I'm just look, looking at, at her Instagram right now. Like everything looks so fun and cute. Her name is Crafty Mama XO on Instagram, which is so fun. Also, she had this really cute like turny thing from Amazon, she said, and I really want one. So I think I might get one to like show off my candles, just have it like rotating. She said it was really affordable. Also, her daughter was on her little notepad drawing all day. And at one point I asked her what she was drawing and she was like, I'm drawing you. I was like, thank you. And she gave me the picture she drew. That's like the cutest thing. That was really nice being next to them. And as you all saw, like I'm always in this corner because I guess Sin just like likes me putting me in that corner. I like that it's like a very consistent, like homey feeling every time I do those markets since I've done a few of them already. And then the other vendor that I met who I thought was really cool is Poetry by Lena. And she makes poetry. She wrote a book, like a poetry book, and I bought one from her. She has a very like rupee car vibe to her. I think I'm saying that right. She grew up from around where I'm from. She's around my age. Like we had a lot in common. She seemed really cool. So definitely check those two vendors out. Um, I will put their info below. I don't think I got as much footage as I wanted to at this market, mainly because again, I didn't have too much, too many interactions with customers since not too many people came by. But when there were times when it was like kind of quiet, I would just sit down on my phone and write my speech for my sister's wedding because it's something I really need to do. I spent a good amount of time on my phone, but I made sure to always like make sure I'm aware of who's walking by. So if someone like looks like they're about to come to my booth, I like get off my phone, start talking to them. I'm a big advocate for multitasking and staying productive. So wrote a whole speech, <laughs> bridesmaid speech for my sister's wedding while doing this pop-up, which is kind of funny. Also, I absolutely loved the way my booth came out. I just feel like my table setup gets better and better every time I do it. And that's all thanks to my new displays as well as like, I think my products are very like cohesive now. That's definitely something I was working on, as you all know, just making the labels look like they're all from one brand, making all the colors coordinate really well. And because all my products kind of look good together, along with the more professional displays, I feel like overall the booth is just like really pretty now. <laughs> the garment rack definitely helped because I think my old metal garment rack, it's really good. It's really functional and works really well but it didn't really match anything else on my booth because everything else was made out of like natural like wood i have a little bit of acrylic here and there there's a lot of colors i have my recycled like hay crates that i always use and then all of a sudden there's like this metal garment rack and i just felt like it didn't like blend in well with the rest of my stuff it almost made it look like it was for a different vendor and not for my booth so i think having the vertical ledge wooden garment rack match with the vertical ledge pegboard thing matching the vertical edge um like shelving unit i think all of it just came together really well so overall my first impressions of all my vertical edge displays are very positive as you saw in my last pop-up shop vlog i did have trouble putting together uh one of the displays where i put my candles on it that's because i didn't read the directions and also because i didn't look up an image of what it was supposed to look like in the end so i really really struggled with that um so definitely don't be like me and just like try to assemble things without looking up what it's supposed to look like in the end but honestly when i put together the garment rack i was like loosely following the image and i still figured it out on my own within like 10 minutes and when i put it together at the pop-up took me less than 10 minutes to put together the pegboard situation i should really like figure out what the actual names of these displays are but i'm gonna like link everything below in case you're interested uh, but for that display, it 
is so easy to put together. Everything just slides into place so well and that took me like maybe 20 seconds to put together while i was at the pop-up shop i did get a lot of or a lot i mean three orders on my online shop from just online customers who weren't at my actual pop-up but maybe because i was posting about like being there people were, were reminded of my shop and then they ordered but i was really excited and pleasantly surprised when that happened if you have any questions about pop-up shops or my experience or really anything about being a small business owner doing markets let me know in the comments and i will see you in the next one bye